over 18 months away. Fans and full capacity in the Premier League at the Emirates Stadium return today. It's Mikel Arteta's Arsenal versus Thomas Tuchel's Chelsea. I am so pumped for this game today. The first home game of the season. I'm not going into it with too much confidence, but I do still have an element of positivity within me. Nonetheless, last week's horror show at Brentford, I want nothing to do with that now. This is a new week. This is a new game. This is another London derby. And this is a chance to finally get the first three points on the board today. Will we do that? I don't think so. This agenda of Arsenal always turn into the Invincibles against Chelsea. That's Frank Lampard's Chelsea. That is not Thomas Tuchel's Chelsea. This is a different Chelsea side. And it's a Chelsea side that will unfortunately, in my opinion, come to the Emirates Stadium and beat us by two goals to one today. It won't be so plain sailing, but I reckon they'll get an early goal and then take full control and come away from North London with all three points. There's a Cronky out protest before the match at the Emirates Stadium. Will I be a part of that? No. It will be very, very big because we know where the fans stand on Stan Cronky. My opinions are divided within this fan base, but we all love one club. We all love Arsenal and we're all there today to see the Gunners face the Blues. Come on, you Gunners. Let's get down to the Emirates Stadium. Positivity, although I'm not too confident. Chelsea are a bloody good side, but hopefully we can do one on them today. It better be rocking at the Emirates today. Let's get down there. It's match day. We're finally back. Come on, you Gunners. Do not let me down. back here we go look at that how good is it to be back at the emirates stadium for the first time for me personally since december 2019 with a full capacity 60,000 seater stadium i'm so ready to get in that stadium and hopefully 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 there's no toxicity within the fans and get in the atmosphere it's building up outside the emirates don't see real any real signs of a protest but we're here and i'm loving it come on you gunners and just quickly another thought i've got pre-match is i don't really um i don't really want any negativity on this channel but one thing i hate when going to football i really really passionately dislike and i'm sure i speak on behalf of many football fans a half and half half and half scarf with arsenal on one side and chelsea on the other it's a London derby. It's supposed to be a bitter, fierce rivalry. It's just horrible to see. But those fans, in my opinion, aren't real fans. But the real ones are the good ones. And hopefully they can egg us on today. It's a tough job against a good Chelsea side. We're missing some very, very key players. A miracle is needed. Let's get into that stadium. We are in the stadium and the atmosphere is more than building up. It's so good to be back. I have just been pitch side, I've been bumped in to Mr. Martin Keogh, Arsenal's invincible legend and the legend himself from Sky Sports, Mr. Jeff Shreves. The photos will be on the screen now, but it's so good to be back. I love this club. Yes, we are here with Oli, half an hour before kickoff. The fans are starting to get in. We're back at the Emirates for a Premier League game. How does it feel to be back? It feels really good. Well, yeah. I think we're going to get back. <laughs> You're not the only one to think that today, let's be honest. But I'm not sure we will. I really don't think we will. I think the fans will ease the damage just a tiny bit as the floodlights come on. Oli, finally, what's your prediction for today? I dread to hear it, but go on. 2-1 Chelsea. 
Same as me. That's not really a battery. But Lukaku, he is a different animal. We've got a lot to deal with. We've got a lot to deal with. But hopefully, it can be a masterclass. Come on, you gunners, let's do it. Chelsea are red boys, everywhere they go! And just like that, it's 2-0. Uh, I can't even bear to speak in amongst those Arsenal fans because that is piss, piss easy for Chelsea. They're two up inside 35 minutes and their travelling fans were absolutely loving it. 
nothing more, nothing less than I expected. Send me a penalty! Send me a penalty for Arsenal! VAR will check it! Tierney's down. Not good. Not good at all. Hopefully it's not too bad. What a save Bernd Leno has just made to deny Romelu Lukaku to make it 3-0. What a brilliant, brilliant reflex stop that is. That's given us the smallest bit of hope. The smallest bit of hope. Oh, it's the 77th minute. Bloody hell, I didn't realise how quickly time was going. Another injury for Arsenal. added minutes, three added minutes, Chelsea still two up and it's going to win like this, let's be honest, they are absolutely cruising to victory and there is a fire drill at the end of this ring around the Emirates full time Arsenal nil, Chelsea two. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Like Arsenal stay in the Premier League this season if Arteta stays in charge. Arsenal nil, Chelsea two. Disaster. Absolute disaster. No plan. And I honestly, I honestly mean this. If Arteta stays at this club any longer, relegation is calling. I really, really do mean that. Because none of these players can get us out of the mess we're in. None of them. None of them. There is not one bit of... There's just nothing in that team that convinces me that we can get ourselves out of the mess we are in. It's not down to the owners. It's down to transfers and the manager. End of story. We are in absolute shambles, but I'll still be at West Brom on Wednesday, supporting the team. Because I love the club, Arsenal nil, Chelsea 2, we are an absolute shambles. From me and Ollie, goodbye, we will see you in the next one. Arteta out, bye bye.